Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Bliss Granulizer. The granulizer is an AUV-free granular texture effect and therefore it requires a host. I'm inside AUM and I'm going to use AUM to demonstrate how the how the effect works. So let's create an audio channel first and this time as an input source or as a source um, I'm going to use something like Digistex and the reason I'm going to use Digistex is because I think when it comes to explain for example reverse uh, plane or, or backward plane it actually um, sounds actually better works better. So let's choose something like alternate road, uh, rock kit and let's choose a, a crush symbol like this and let's play so you know what it sounds like. Uh, let's can click host in sync as well. Okay, that's what we have and just a normal crush um, sound. So now let's search for the, the granulizer and here it is. Okay, let's open it and also maximize it. As you can see, standard interface, user interface from Bliss, really nice, very easy to use. Let's start from the top. We have a selection of presets here. Uh, you click on it, and of course, you have the user control to save, uh, save new, rename, import, export, all, all the user controls. You can choose different preset. And let's choose the default one um, uh, for now. You can move uh, uh, to the previous preset, to the next preset, and you can also uh, randomize the controls on the screen to create perhaps a new preset. Now, on the left hand side, you have your input filter and you can choose to uh, use a low pass filter like so, or also an high pass filter or both. Okay, so that is down to you. Below that, you have a selection of the buses and which one is on. So it can receive up to four buses as input. And of course, when you have more than one bus, it will um, active, sorry, more than one bus active, it will take randomly um, samples, which are the grains from different buses. Below, um, you have um, the possibility to change the level in decibel for all of them. And of course, as um, standard nowadays, if you double click on the control, it goes back to default. So the granular texture effect takes uh, short samples from the input source and of course applies some modulation based on the number of parameters which I will show you now and um, of course send them those out and you can also as I just said take uh, different input sources using the, uh, the multi input bus feature which works quite well inside AUM. You can decide uh, how to filter your output in terms of dry and wet signal, and you can also change the gain again in decibel. Now let's focus uh, on the middle part of the screen, which is the core of the granulizer. So you can see a visualizer here, a nice visual um, display, which shows you uh, how grains are processed. So in this case, um, you can see this red symbol, this red line, which is going from upwards, from the from bottom to top, right? It's moving up, and that is your grain. Okay, so let's click play for now. And what is happening here is taking uh, grains of a size of 200 milliseconds, which is established here, and send them to the output. Now the density or how frequently grain, um, grains are generated is now set to zero, which we are going to change in a moment. But before we go into that, you can see that for each of the control, there is a corresponding randomized um, function. Um, so you can change, uh, for example, in this case, the size of the grains randomly, changing the dial here. And of course, that will depend on the density, which at the moment is actually to zero. So let's increase the density a little bit. So we have more grains now. If I decrease the size, 
you can hear they're shorter and you can also visibly see they're shorter. And if I increase the size, you can see they get longer. You see, they are much longer, that red line is actually longer. Of course, I can increase further the density to have more grains and the four more uh, samples. Now, at the moment, they are localized in the middle in terms of the samples. So we have a pump function here. So you can decide to move them to the left, like so, or to the right. And of course, uh, the beauty comes when you actually randomize this because that will give you that spatial effect. Remember, all of this depends on the size of the grains and also the density itself. Okay. Um, you can also adjust the volume of the grains and of course randomize it as well, which gives you additional uh, settings. You can decide if to change the offset, which is the time from the recording of the sample to the time that it's played back. So it will take longer to generate the sample. You can decide if to play the sample forward or backward. And this is why I chose also Digistick to highlight that. Let me give you an example. This, this is forward from the bottom up. You can see how the line is generated and also let's decrease the intensity to give you a better example. And uh, bigger grains. And now let's change to backward playing. You can hear they are being played backward, and also the lines go from the top to the bottom. Now, each grain can also be pitched up or down, following different modes, which you can select here, like chromatic, major, minor, minor, etc. So up to your choice. So let's select, for example, minor, and this will work better if you have a normal instrument instead of a drum sound. But uh, let's randomize that. Let's increase the density. So you can hear that the pitch is actually changed. You can change the warmth, which effectively how much distortion you apply, and you will uh, hear that the sound uh, opens up uh, also in terms of level as well. And as you can see, the display moved up in the middle. And of course you can change the shape of the envelope and at the moment it is actually very narrow and you will hear as I change that it will open up because you have a faster attack, faster decay, you have a longer play time. Okay, you can also decide and uh, to synchronize the density of passing size to the bit. So you click bit here. And in this case, it will be it will be synchronized to the host tempo. I prefer to have it free. In terms of the visualizer here, the nice display. If you click and hold, move up and down, you change the density, and it works like a you know a bend, like the bend that is applied to a pitch. So when you release, it goes back to what it was before as a value. And if you move left and right, you can change the pan as well. So this is quite nice, and um, as, as I mentioned, you can, uh, let me show you now to randomize all the parameters and see what happens. Okay, now let's stop this and let's create a, an additional audio channel. Let's bring in another audio uni extension, for example, for waves. Let's uh, also create a MIDI channel. Inside that MIDI channel, let's choose something uh, like Step Poly Arp Unit. 
less connect the poly, poly ARP unit to uh, the uh, synth on the audio channel number two. Uh, let's also connect the keyboard to the poly ARP unit. Let's choose a different preset, something like uh, that I can apply to chords, like so. And let's enable the latch function as well. Now here, instead of just bringing up a normal effect or another uh, copy of the instance of the granulizer, let's go to multibus audio unit instances and let's use the same uh, granulizer instance so that I can show you the multi input. Um, let's mute that because the way that the um, granular synth works is that uh, the input is taken from the from this synth on channel number two is directed here and it comes out from this audio channel uh, but at the same time the audio is still going through this channel here from the synth so i want to mute that so let's open this up uh, let's change the size again so i can see uh, the keyboard let's enable multibus and um, let's play a little bit As you can see, uh, you, uh, there were different colors here, which represented the different buses. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, and I haven't mentioned it at the beginning, but I'm going to give some code away. So if you're interested uh, to participate in the competition, just uh, look in the video description for the rules and check the comment section to see if the competition is still open and if winners have been announced. Thank you, see you next time, bye.